Spooky season is upon us and I couldn't be more excited. Aislinn and I hit up some stores to see what they had out for Halloween and we totally scored. I have a bunch of fun things to show you. Let's get into what we found. We are taking all of you with us to find some Halloween decorations. So excited about spooky season, but first, Caffeine. Caffeine and Caffeine. Starbucks. I got a pumpkin spice latte because it's fall and um, it just matches the season, so. She got a pumpkin spice latte and I just got a coffee with creamer and Splenda. I made the mistake of tasting Aislinn's and then tasting mine and I like hers better. And now she's trying to like, oh, give me another sip. <laughs> do I call that? I call that mommy tax. Do any of you guys do mommy tax? I definitely do mommy tax. What's mommy tax? It's where like when you get like if she gives you McDonald's or something and she gives you the fries and then she's like, mommy tax, you better give me some fries. <laughs> you got to get that mommy tax. If you're not getting the mommy tax, you are missing out. But come with us. We are going to hit up some Halloween stores and I am so excited for you guys to join us. Let's get to it. So the very first store we went to is Michael's. Michael's definitely always has the best Halloween decorations. And honestly, I left this store with my wallet a bit lighter. I would say I got the majority of my decorations from here this year. They had so many fun pillows. Check all of these out and also a bunch of neon fun Halloween decorations. But I love myself a good theme and this year I am planning on doing a witchy vibe in my living room this year. So I will be looking for decorations that give more of the magical enchanting vibe. Guys, check out this cat with the glowing eyes and a mouse coming out of his mouth. Michaels always knows how to do Halloween right. And this Witch's Lair sign works perfect for my theme this year, so I scooped one of these up. Michael's had a lot of what I would describe this year as spooky romantic decorations. Lots of florals and a ton of different skeletons. By the way guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Andrea and my friends call me Dre. I am a mom, a critical care nurse, and I have a bunch of holiday and DIY videos on my channel. If you love DIYs, holidays, and a dash of magic, then you are definitely in the right place and I am so glad we found each other. Please don't be a stranger and make sure to say hello in the comment section. What is that? It's a to unicorn. Be? <laughs> hey guys, we're at, at home store. Let's go. Let's go inside. Oh my god, guys. Check out this mad scientist at the at home store. He is over 12 feet tall. Definitely a showstopper, but I wonder how they store these figures after the holidays. By the way, I would love to see my husband's face if I came home from a little decorating shopping trip and brought this scientist and witch home to decorate with. I think he would freak out. Emo pumpkin. Emo pumpkin. Check out Aislinn's shirt. Let's go, girls. The at-home store had so many fun potion bottles. We picked up a bunch of these last year because we decorated in a haunted mansion theme. I love myself a good theme, and every year we sort of rotate them. Also, last year we made a bunch of kid-friendly Halloween cocktails. I will definitely link those down below if you want to check those videos out. 
So these skeleton glasses, I was in Pottery Barn just the day before, and I kid you not, the exact same glasses were $25 each, and you can buy these at the at-home store for $6.99, so I grabbed two of them. This little guy is coming with us. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, it's AZ and a creepy skeleton. Guys, there is a literal flamingo skeleton. What? Yeah, we shopping went great. <laughs> Next, we went to Joanne's Fabric and Marshall's. Joanne's had a bunch of awesome skeletons, but honestly, their selection was already pretty picked over. And Marshall's had a ton of fun Halloween items, but there was stuff and people everywhere, and I honestly was feeling really overwhelmed in the store. I ultimately did end up finding a few great pieces from Marshall's, but let me know in the comments down below if you are the same as me, if you feel a store is kind of chaotic and disorganized, if it makes you feel overwhelmed. Aislinn, on the other hand, was having way too much fun in this store. Don't mind us, just a little dance party kicking off in the middle of Marshalls. I love this little girl so much, guys. She made this shopping trip so much fun. My little partner in crime. Okay, guys, after a full day of shopping, let's head home so we can show you the decorations we got this year. Here is an overview of all the amazing finds we found from our shopping trip. Some of this stuff was bought online, but the majority of items we found today while we were shopping. So I want to quickly give you an overview of what we found and where we got it. We are going to start with one of my absolute favorites, and it is this little ghost picture. From Etsy, I purchased the large picture, and it was $25 with shipping. In addition, Michaels had in the Halloween section these amazing frames this year. I got this one for $15, and as you guys can tell, I went a little crazy with the ghosts this year. I actually don't have any decor pieces with ghosts, so I think that's why I went a little crazy for this, but I found these two porcelain ghosts at Marshall's. The larger one was $14.99 and the smaller one was $7.99. And sticking with our ghost theme, look at these adorable kitchen towels. So guys, the next thing I got is this pumpkin carving candle from Bath & Body Works. This is like Halloween in a jar, I'm not kidding. It smells so delicious. Next, I decided I'm going to be doing a witch theme in my living room this year. You guys know your girl loves a good theme and every witch needs the perfect pair of boots. So I found this at Home Goods. They were $20. I plan on doing a DIY this year with these. Definitely want to be on the lookout for that video. Also guys, check out these adorable mugs. I bought one for my son and one for my daughter. These both came from Michaels and they were on sale for $7 each. I don't think I've ever seen such a cute, adorable, girly mug. And the fact that I got one for each of my kids, that my kids will be drinking out of these mugs for spooky season. And moving along, you guys know I love anything that captures the magic of Halloween. And I found this little moving broom at Cracker Barrel. My kids love it so much. And being that we're doing a witch theme, I had to get it. This was $30 at Cracker Barrel. Next up, I purchased this from Pottery Barn. This guy is so huge. When I saw him, I fell in love with it and I thought he would be the perfect addition to our holiday decor this year. Pottery Barn also had a pillow bat that was also pricey, but I lucked out. I went to Home Goods and I found two pillow bats for $14.99 each. And I also found this beautiful witch's lair sign. This came from Michael's, as well as these porcelain mushrooms. Every witch needs a little toad, and I love the character on this frog. He's got the warts, he's got different combinations of green. I think he looks really realistic. I bought him at home. The next few things came from Michael's. 
these test tubes have little mushrooms and little herbs and I just thought again perfect addition to my witch's lair that along with this iridescent crystal ball I've just never seen something more beautiful and I picked up all these potion bottles and this little guy as well from Michael. Okay, this next find was such a still. Last year, Pottery Barn put out these clay terracotta pumpkins. For a set of three, they were over $200. Talk about breaking the bank. But we found this amazing clay pumpkin at Marshall's and he was only $19.99 and to go with, I also was able to find a smaller looking one from Michaels. I was so excited to get these. Now this little guy, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I thought he was whimsical and really fun. I thought I would add him in a tier tray this year, but my kids just show such disdain for him. My daughter thinks he's super creepy and I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep him or not. So please let me know in the comments below if you like him or you think he needs to be taken back to the store. Next up, I have these trio of cauldrons that we will be using for our family Halloween movie night. I wanted this set so we can put snacks in, popcorn, gummies, candy, and believe it or not, your girl spent so much at Michael's that this landed up being absolutely free. I also found this really heavy duty jack-o'-lantern basket. This was only $7.99 and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him yet, but I'm sure I will incorporate him into the decor. Here is something I found for one of you. I showed up to TJ Maxx one morning and they were just putting out these little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern Mickeys. This is the smaller one where you put the little tea light candle behind, but I love him so much. These are really hard to find and guys, I wanted to let you know I am going to be doing a surprise giveaway to one of you all so I picked this guy up for you and then finally last but not least my absolute favorite Halloween decor piece from this year is this guy this cauldron was quite pricey it came from Grandin Road but I love it so much you guys know I am a sucker for anything that involves Halloween and magic and the fact that it looks like an invisible witch or ghost is pouring this bubbly sparkly purple potion into this cauldron just gets me so excited I had to have it I cannot wait to show you guys how I use this to decorate this year okay guys I I cannot believe we got through all of that. This was so much fun. I'm so excited to share with you guys how we use all these items to decorate for spooky season. Our next video you will want to be on the lookout for because we will be doing the giveaway for the little Mickey jack-o'-lantern and I cannot wait to share all our Halloween videos coming up with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time time. Bye!